if it is pictures of real slides that you need to prepare for histology practical exam this textbook has it and then the way they explained the histology point point in ah oh, please 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 i'm not overhyping this textbook i discovered that i started losing interest in studying neuroanatomy because these textbooks were just boring so i decided to go for this textbook single-handedly like no jokes with this textbook eh, i did not have any need to open my lecture notes ask me if i have notes in histology you just disgrace me because of this textbook so if you're watching this video and you usually read last anatomy and you understand it kudos yeah boss so it's just that there are certain images that certain exact images that were lacking in this particular atlas that is why i had to check for other atlases if not this atlas is good enough for you hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jemima and today we are going to talk about textbooks that i used in my preclinical class those textbooks those textbooks that helped me a whole lot this is one of my most requested videos so thank you for those who requested for these videos i have it here for you today so just sit tight and watch yes i need to be detailed i'm going to talk about textbooks i use in anatomy biochemistry and physiology so i'm going to start with anatomy in this video and sorry i'm going to be looking down a lot because like you have seen in my previous video the youtube channels for mbbs students if you've not seen it please go and see it i'll put the link up for you guys to see the video i talked about youtube channels that helped me a lot in my preclinical classes so today is for textbooks and i'm starting from anatomy so i wrote down i wrote down the textbooks you can see so i'm ready to like pour out the knowledge for you guys is that's how serious i am about this i really want you guys to have those 60s and 70s in your exam like you know anatomy is divided into histology embryology neuroanatomy and gross anatomy so in my medical school they teach us all four so it depends in your own school some schools usually add functional anatomy but there's nothing like that in my school they only teach us these four anatomy courses so i'm going to talk tell you the textbooks that helped me in these four anatomy textbooks then the next video i'm going to upload will be on physiology and biochemistry i just don't want to squeeze everything into this one video so that it will it won't become very long and bore you guys so that's why i decided to do anatomy first the thing about these textbooks uh, is that one textbook alone was not just sufficient for me so I had different textbooks that I refer to if if the one textbook is deficient in a topic, like if I don't understand the way a particular textbook explains one thing or the other, or if I'm looking for a, an exact image and I don't find it in one atlas, then I jump to the next atlas. That is what I did. So don't think that I read all these textbooks. No, 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 no. Like, who has that kind of time? So for Atlas of Human Anatomy, for Atlas, I used Tim TME's Atlas of Anatomy. And it helped me. Then Regional Atlas of Human Anatomy by Carmen D. Clement. That helped me also. It helped me too. Then, of course, this one I'm about to mention. Which medical student in Nigeria does not know this textbook? Like, how? I mean, this atlas. How can you be a medical student? Eh? And you don't know this atlas? Frank Nita's atlas. I used it too. Like, I if there's anything I love so much about this atlas is the colors. The diagrams are so colorful. It's just that there are certain images that, certain exact images that were lacking in this particular atlas. That is why I had to check for other atlases. If not, this atlas is good enough for you. Atlas of Human Histology by Robert L. Sorensen yes and then human anatomy by mcmaine's abrahams so all these atlases i'm talking about i have them in my laptop that is what i use don't think i have hard copy you like jesus who has that kind of money please if people have money that you've kept in one tree or the other <laughs> please share it for me because my there's no money to buy all these things so i just got them a soft copy and kept in my laptop so if at all you have the money and you want to buy some of these atlases i strongly suggest that you download the soft copy first get the soft copy look through the pages of the soft copy so that you would know which one exactly would work for you then you take your money to the market and buy the hard copy then for embryology embryology as a glance by samuel webster and ranon ranon the weird 
yes this helped me to then board review sev series that is brs embryology ah this textbook the textbook is not detailed for really detailed studying so the only time i open this textbook is when maybe i want to do uh revision yes that's when i open up then in debbie sings human anatomy this is a textbook that so many medical students love so much but i'm getting to my favorite i've not gotten there yet so be patient then another textbook which is um so many medical students favorite as well the developing human by Kate more my own personal best like personal 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 is langman medical embryology this is one textbook that i kept running back to then for gross anatomy this is my favorite of all times bd chaurasia i don't know if i'm pronouncing it well pardon my pronunciation so this is this is like my best 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 best, best. <laughs> i know why it's my best because it's straight to the point i don't i don't like stories i'm not patient enough to read all the plenty stories that uh, uh, grace anatomy would say so grace anatomy this this one i have the hard copy of grace anatomy which is which is actually very nice in grace anatomy makes anatomy very interesting to study so i would say if you're just starting out in anatomy i would suggest you go for grace anatomy then another textbook yeah brs that's board review series uh, um, gross anatomy it's actually very good for revision then kate moore kate moore is many lecturers favorite many students favorite as well but not my own favorite <laughs> then we have last Ha! Ah, last is for gurus like bosses you know you know what i'm saying so if you're watching this video and you usually read last anatomy and you understand it kudos yeah boss <laughs> then and uh, snails clinical anatomy by regions this is another textbook that i didn't open so often i ol only the only thing that made me open this textbook was when i was looking for a particular topic ah, i can't remember right now sorry <laughs> but this particular to topic i was looking for and this other textbook couldn't really explain it properly for me that was what made me to download this snails clinical anatomy by region then for histology want histology textbook that many let me not use all all many medical students have is in the Singh textbook of human histology many students have it but it's, it wasn't my favorite at all then another one that many students have too is um john Quira's basic histology textbook and atlas that's also many people's favorite but that is not my favorite then they want this textbook i want to mention like i need to stress on it <laughs> when i say well, i need to stress like stress stress this textbook eh no worry, I'll not mention the name. When I finish talking about the textbook, I'll mention the name. This textbook single-handedly, like no jokes. With this textbook, eh, I did not have any need to open my lecture notes. Ask me if I have notes in histology. You just disgrace me. Because of this textbook, like I read this textbook single-handedly for every single histology exam that I wrote in preclinical class. And it came through for me. Like it has if it's picture diagrams that you need it has it if it is pictures of real slides that you need to prepare for histology practical exam this textbook has it and then the way they explained the histology point point in ah oh, please 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 i'm not overhyping this textbook just download it first eh then open it and flip through it then you understand what i'm saying this is like my best ever histology textbook that helped me a whole lot and because of this textbook i did not have any need for youtube channel i didn't have to watch any plenty 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 youtube channels to be able to understand histology this textbook was i didn't need any other extra 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 textbook this is a textbook i textbooks i downloaded i only downloaded them because everybody has them so i never ever opened this other histology textbook after opening it just one so after i downloaded this histology textbook i didn't have any need for the others and the name of this textbook is drum rolls <laughs> practical histology by jp gone oh my god Mwah. to this textbook i love this textbook so 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 much then finally last but not the least neuroanatomy for neuroanatomy i have to be frank i didn't study textbook so much for this for this particular course because I don't know why i was not patient enough i just downloaded these textbooks and flipped through them maybe just once or twice and then i disappeared and decided to go for teach me anatomy so the the for neuroanatomy i downloaded this textbook, which i will still tell you about 
clinical neuroanatomy by richard snell this one many medical students know this textbook and have it i downloaded it and i used it for a while then textbook of clinical neuroanatomy by vishram singh i downloaded it and used it for a while as well but after some time i, I discovered that i started losing interest in studying neuroanatomy because these texts were just boring so i decided to go for teach me anatomy will do a good job for you that and by the way teach me anatomy is not a textbook it's a website so ah that is it for um anatomy that is it for anatomy my next week i'm going to upload the textbooks that helped me in biochemistry and physiology thank you so much for watching this video if you've watched to this point please subscribe to my channel if you like my content and give my video a thumbs up if you love it see you next week bye